In this video, you will learn how to find features that have constant values or low variance using variance threshold function in Python. This variance threshold function removes all low variance features. This function looks only at the features x that is the independent variables and not the y variable or the target variable. Let's import pandas as pd. Import pandas as pd from sklearn dot feature selection we will import the variance threshold we have to select this feature selection import variance threshold now I'm going to make one variable df and I will read a csv file and save in this object pd dot read underscore csv and inside this I will write the csv file name which is sample dot csv so this is just a warning you have to ignore it now I have saved this csv file in this variable df now let us look at the head of our data frame I'll write df dot head and here in the output you will see we have got a data frame here and we have variables such as length width size decimal weight and height and if you look at this data frame closely you will see that this weight variable is having all the constant values which is 5 and we can also verify so i will call the value underscore counts method on this variable to check how many distinct values are there i will write df of weight and then i will call value dot value underscore counts now here in the output you will see it says that the value is 5 and the total number of samples are 150 and let us also confirm how many rows and columns are there i will write here df dot shape and here you will see in the output we have total 150 rows and six columns and it says that there are total 150 rows and all the rows are having this number 5 that means this variable is a constant feature feature and it is having a zero variance now as i've said that this variance threshold works on independent variable or the x variables and not the target variable so i'm going to split this data frame df into x and y in x we will have all these variables which is length width size decimal and weight and in y we will have this height variable let us split our data frame into x and y in x i will write df dot iloc so this will be based iloc is based on the location the first parameter is we want all the rows and the second parameter is the number of columns that we want so we want columns starting from 0 up to 0 1 2 3 and 4 so if i write here 0 up to 4 0 then this semicolon and then colon and then 4 and if I print x so now you will see we have this length width size and decimal and we also want to get this weight so we will put one more indexing instead of 4 I will write here 5 and now you will see in the output we have this variable weight also and similarly we will do for this y so in y we just want the last variable we will use the same df dot iloc we want all rows and to get the last column we just have to print minus one or we have to type minus one that's it now let us execute our code so in x we have this values and if i type y so in y we will have just one column which is the last column which is height here in y we have this column so in x you, will, you, you can see here that the weight variable is having the same numbers 5 5 5 5 and 5 so this is a variable with zero variance and this variable will not help in prediction this will not uh, give any predictive power to our model that is why we need to drop this variable but we will first find it using this variance threshold whether it is a zero variance variable or not now since we have this x and y now let's split our data set into train and test because to apply this variance threshold 
we generally apply this on the training data set that is the x train and that's why let us first split our data frame or this x into x and y into x train x test y train and y test so let's import this library first from sklearn dot model selection import train test and split now i'm going to split this x and y into train and test i will write here x underscore train x underscore test y underscore train y underscore test and then i will call this function train test split inside this i will pass my x variable y variable and then there is one parameter test underscore size so this is the size of our test data frame and it is going to be 30% so I will write here 0.3 and then we will pass one more parameter random state and this acts like a seed and you can put any number here let's say 1 2 3 let us execute our code now we have split our data frame into x train x test y train and y test now let's create an object of this class variance threshold so we have imported this class variance threshold and now we are going to make an object of this of this class so that we can call the fit method from the object of this class i will write here my object name will be let's say selector and then i will call the class variance threshold and inside this we will have one parameter which is threshold and you have to give here the threshold let's say i am typing here zero it means that i want to find all the variables whose variance is zero or less than zero now let us execute our code now if i call this object selector so you will see we got this variance threshold and the parameter threshold is set to be zero now let's fit this object on our x train data set so I will call here selector dot fit and then x train. Now it will give uh, it will return us all the variables that we are going to use. And so we have this we have done this fitting on this x train and now we have to just call this uh, we have to call one function from this that is get underscore support. Now if I call this get underscore support so here what we have done here we have first fit it on the x train and now we will check using this get support which variables are zero variance and which variables are not so here in the output we got this array here which says true 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 and false so this gives us true and false true means we don't have to remove those features from our x train because they are not zero variance variable and false means they are zero variance variable and we have to remove it so here you will see the last variable it says is a zero variance that is why it is giving false and if we look at the last variable in our x train or i'll just print here x train because we have done the fitting here on x train that is why we will look at the last variable in x train i will write here x train dot head so here in the output you will see the last variable is weight and it is a zero variance variable that is why here we are getting this false here so we have this weight variable that we need to drop it from our data frame because this is a zero variance variable and this variable will not help in prediction in our model now since we have found the variable which is having zero variance we just need to drop it from our data frame and that's it I will call here df dot drop and the column name the column name is weight and then I have to pass the axis axis is equal to one axis parameter takes two values zero and one if you want to drop a row you have to type zero but if you want to drop a column you have to type here one and let's say let us execute our code so here in the output you will see now we got a data frame which is not having this variable weight and once you have dropped this column then you have to do this entire procedure again that is you will have to split your data frame into x train x test y train y test again and then you can develop your model on your new data set 
once you remove this zero constant features from your data frame and you will uh, one more thing i would like to tell you that now here i have mentioned this as zero but you can put any value here let's say you want to find variables which are having variance which is less than 0.5 so i will write here 0.5 or you want to write 0.4 or anything and then based on this condition it will find variables having low variance and if i run this code again so you will see we will get the same uh, result here because this parameter thresholds takes a value and these this value is depend uh, this value depends upon our, our choice if you want to find out variable which is having threshold 0 or 0 0.5 or 0 0.8 you can pass those numbers here in this parameter and once you pass it then you can run it on your x train and you will find variables meeting this criteria and then you can drop those variables from your data frame this video was about feature selection in python using the method variance threshold I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.